One of the most common gynecologic surgeries a woman may have to undergo in her lifetime would be a hysterectomy. And traditionally, hysterectomies have been, been done for many reasons. Um, abnormal bleeding coming up into the menopause time, pain with periods, um, heavy periods, problems with things bulging out or falling down below, and then sometimes uh, it's done for cancer or precancerous reasons. We try to do as many of our hysterectomies as possible vaginally as that offers some great advantages to the patient. It's less risky, there's a quicker recovery time, shorter hospital stay, less pain afterwards. And we're proud to say that our institution, our vaginal hysterectomy rate is about 95% compared with the national rate um, last reported in 2006 was only 30%. So there really is not a, a patient where I would be uncomfortable um, trying a vaginal hysterectomy hysterectomy and sometimes we have to convert to an abdominal hysterectomy but as much as possible we try to do it vaginally. A hysterectomy anymore now consists of just taking the uterus. There's rarely a time where we take the ovaries from a woman so many women are worried that after hysterectomy they're going to have to go on hormone replacement therapy but in reality the minority of them have to because the ovaries are what produces the hormones and we make every effort to leave those behind. So a hysterectomy at our institution typically consists of removal of the uterus and with that the cervix.